hi welcome back to my youtube channel and hello if you're new here please subscribe yeah welcome to like a get ready with me i was actually getting ready to go to a wedding party but um yeah i was in a rush hence why i'm doing a voiceover hope you enjoy it make yourself comfy grab your cup of tea or if you're me grab a glass of wine and yeah hope you enjoy starting off with the mac strobe cream this is in the shade gold light so yeah, this is just a nice glowing base just before we put our foundation on. I'm actually really loving using this at the moment. Okay, so for eyebrows, I'm actually using a new buy of mine recently. It's the Olivia Bell Eyebrow Pomade. It's in shade Ebony. And yeah, it's just super, super creamy, super affordable. I think this was only like $4.99, I want to say. But yeah, how lovely does that new pomade look is nothing better than a brand new eyebrow pomade <laughs> okay so i'm just going in with a mac 263 angled brush and i'm just creating the shape that i want so when i do my eyebrows i kind of keep the front bit kind of faded and then i like to go a bit heavier on the ends Okay, so here's literally my favourite product in the whole entire world. You've all seen this on my videos. It's the P. Louise base in the shade Ruma. So this is just an eyeshadow base that makes your eyeshadows stand out literally like no tomorrow. It's literally the best product ever. I cannot live without this in my life. Okay, so the brush I'm using is a MAC 252. So you can see I'm literally just applying the base really full coverage onto my eyelids and then I'm also taking this up to the brow area just to carve them out and make them look a lot more defined. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and do the other side. Also, there was a massive spot in between my brows. I don't know what it is but every time I decide to go out somewhere a spot will appear either between my brows or on my chin. So yeah, um, you can see I'm just covering this up. This acts as like a really good concealer as well, guys. <laughs> okay, on to eyeshadows. All the eyeshadows I'm using is from the P. Louise Secret Thinner Palette. So the first shade you can see is called Love Shy. Okay, and here comes Jason because he wanted to show me his new trousers for the wedding. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> And then to blend out that deep purple shade, I'm actually going to go in with a shade above in this palette called Pleasure. It's just like a nice deep mauve colour. Yeah, I like to take my time on blending eyeshadows out just to ensure that it's not like losing any of the pigmentation. I'm just trying to be as like precise as I can with my blending. Then I'm going back in with Love Shy just to ensure that that darkness is still there because sometimes when you're blending out colours you can lose some of the depth of the shadows. Oh here comes Jason again showing me his full outfit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh he's bloody funny. Okay I'm going in with a bigger blending brush and I'm going in with a shade and more from the palette which is like a nice light pink colour. Then I'm taking the best matte black eyeshadow. This is called Blackout by Urban Decay. Okay, and then I'm just taking this on a Morphe M507 brush and I'm just literally smoking this on my upper lash line. Sorry if you can hear me like sniffling and breathing heavily. I'm suffering with a cold, so I'm so sorry. I picked a bad day to do a voiceover, but yeah, I just wanted to get this up for you guys. Okay, and then to cut the crease, I'm taking that P. Louise base again on the MAC 252 and I'm kind of like cutting half of my crease out. Yeah, you can see I kind of cut my crease a lot higher than what my actual crease is, only because I want to give the illusion that I have a bigger eye space, but I actually don't really. This just allows me to be able to put a lot more eye pigment on my lids. So on my lids, I'm actually going in with one of my favourite products. It's the Jordana Tisha Base and Sparkle. This is in the shade Iconic and it's just like a gorgeous sparkly rose gold. And here comes Jace again, loving life. <laughs> okay, so I'm going straight over the P. Louise base with this. You can actually use, it comes with like a cream inside that glitter pot. But 
I've just chose to go straight over the base today. And it's just almond, it's absolutely stunning. I love this pigment so, so much. I'm just going back in with a black shadow just to make sure that I still have that there. So yeah, I'm just gonna do exactly the same on the other eye. How are we all doing, by the way? I can't believe I picked up a cold towards the end of the year. This is literally June season, I can't cope. But um, yeah, who is excited for Christmas? I actually started my Christmas shopping the other day and I literally cannot wait for Christmas. <laughs> okay, let's just get back into the makeup because I literally talk about Christmas all day. Um, but yeah, I'm just going back and forth, all the shades that I use, just to make sure it's like all nice and seamless, all nice and blended, like all the colours are still there. Yeah, this is like a must do when you're doing eye makeup, just to go back in with all of the shades that you've used. And here I am, sort my hair out, I was literally just going to say sort your hair out, hun. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to under the eyes, I'm taking MAC Feline Eyeliner and... This is going in my waterline and I'm going to smudge it onto my lower lash line. And then I'm taking that shade Love Shy again and just kind of like smoking out that liner. Okay, so then moving on to mascara and some big old tatty lashes. So yeah, just applying this with the Eldora False Eyelash Glue. <laughs> Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and um, if you've watched my first impressions video on this foundation, you'll know that I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, taking this on a Olivia Hale contour brush and I like to press this into my skin just to give like that full coverage skin look. Okay, so to highlight under my eyes and to act like as a concealer, I'm taking the P. Louise base again. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I absolutely love this, especially for like a heavy, bright under eye look. And then I like to take my foundation brush again, just to go over where I applied the base, just to make sure it's all blended in nicely. Okay, so to warm up and contour my face, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Nut Brown. And I'm going in with a MAC 109 brush and I'm just placing where I want the product and then I'm going to blend it all in after. I'm also taking a tiny amount of this product and I'm just going down the sides of my nose just to act as a nose contour. And then to set my face, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and yeah, this just makes your makeup last so much longer and it just makes everything look so much more flawless, like especially in flash photography, it just looks absolutely beautiful. This is an extra step I like to do when I'm going out in particular. I like to like sharpen up all my contoured areas with the powder just make it look a lot more defined. Okay, and then I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Tan, my absolute fave. So I like to go in all of the contoured areas because if you leave it as like a liquid cream, then it's not going to last, especially like if you want to go out and you want your makeup to last. Always set your foundations, your liquids, your creams with a powder just to make sure it lasts a lot longer. The blush I'm taking, L'Oreal Life's a Peach, and oh my god, if you haven't tried this, you need to you need to buy it just for the smell. It smells amazing. <laughs> okay, so for highlight, I'm going in with the Dollar Beauty Shine Bright. This is literally amazing. Like, if you're in space and you're wearing this, you will be seen. <laughs> and then lastly for lips, I'm going in with the NYX Lip Liner in the shade London. This is a dupe for the MAC Strip Down, so... Yeah, a bit of a cheap alternative for you. And then taking the Anastasia MAC Liquid Lipstick in the shade, I think this is Strip. Is it going to focus? Oh, there you are, Strip. So yeah, going to go in with that. And then over the top, I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So yeah, that is the finished look, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Sorry about the random voiceover, but yeah, thank you for sticking around. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, 
and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye